Hello students, welcome to the next lesson of business studies. Today we are going to start with another chapter, chapter 2, principles of management. First of all, let us understand the meaning of principle. A principle refers to a statement which reflects the fundamental truth about something. In simple words, a principle is a rule, a law, a guideline or a fact. So, when we say principles of management, we mean some broad and general guidelines for decision making in the business and also the behavior of the managers. Now, let us come to the nature, features or characteristics of management principles. Number one is universal application. So, it can also be said as management principles are pervasive. The principles of management are universal in nature. That means they can be applied to all the types of organizations. Number two is formed by practice and experiments. The management principles are developed only after deep and thorough research work. Proper observations and experiments are conducted before developing them. Number three is flexible. Management principles can be applied differently under different conditions. These are not set of rigid statements. They can be modified by the managers who are using them. Next is mainly behavior. Management principles are formed to guide and influence the behavior of employees. These principles insist on improving the relationship between all the members of organizations, no matter he is a superior or a subordinate. Next is cause and effect relationship. Management principles are based on cause and effect. That means these principles tell us if a particular principle is applied in a situation, what might be the effect? Next is contingent. Management principles are contingent or de uh, dependent upon the uh, situations prevailing in the organization. The application of principle has to be changed with change in situation. 